What's going on, everyone? I hope you're having a good night, good day, good morning, whatever you're doing. I hope you're doing it and, and you are all uh, doing well. Anyway, this light I have to show you today is not for everyone. It's uh, I'd mainly say it's for people who need a bright searchlight or just people that have money burning a hole in their pocket or just people who have to have the brightest subcompact light possible out there but this thing is definitely gonna be one of the top flashlights with design and capabilities max output on this is 12,000 lumens this my friends is the Olight X7R Marder. Now like I said, this guy has a whopping max output of 12,000 lumens. That's a 33% increase from the X7. This flashlight is so bright that they put a sensor on the front of the, like, the lens and the reflector so if this gets set down on its like on the face so it's shining onto a table or if this is too close to a wall this light will dim down so it does not cause any uh damage to property or people it's super super bright so olight totally took into consideration some of the feedback they got from people people saying hey i can't feel the side switch when i'm in the dark I can't I can't see it it takes me forever to turn this light on so not only did they put like a thumb divot and a brand new rubber side switch with a little nipple on it but it also breathes they call it like breathing just like a, a human being or something living breathes in and out so anytime you barely touch this flashlight or you bump the table that this lights sitting on or you wave it around the air this flashlight is going to start to breathe. Now, if you put it down, walk out of the room, it'll stop breathing. But as soon as you walk in the room and it senses any motion, whether it's vibrations or you picking it up, it will start to breathe. It's pretty sick. It's pretty awesome. Now, not only is the side switch breathe at you, it also is an indicator of the battery life that's in it. So when it's getting low on battery, it's going to turn red. When it's not, it's going to be green. And it's pretty slick. It looks pretty cool. Now the X7R is rechargeable, hence the R stands for rechargeable. The X7 wasn't, but the X7R has a new battery that's not removable. It's a specialized battery that's made just for this. So if you're out on the field, out on a trip, and this dies, you will not be able to use it again until you recharge it. So that could be a huge disadvantage. But it does use check out this tail cap it is a twist to open tail cap and it uses USB-C to charge and allows it to charge three times faster than a micro USB three times faster than a micro USB so that definitely is a benefit so let's go over some of the specs on this it has three pre XHP 70 CW LEDs beam distance of 380 meters that's equivalent to 1247 feet light intensity is 36,100 and it has a waterproof rating of IPX7 so in the box you have the light itself they include a holster that will either clip on your belt or you can clip it onto um, a clip uh, they have a lanyard uh, a wall charger and then a type C charging cord Alright, so let's take a quick little tour around this guy here. You can see up here on top we have three different LEDs. Super clear, crystal clear reflector on this. This is a orange peel type reflector. And it's kind of got like three domes, so it kind of just blasts the LEDs. It gives it a nice widespread. Uh, the stainless steel bezel, we have that Olight blue. And then we have these little 
kind of grooves in the side and that just helps to dissipate heat if uh, you're holding here it's not so hot but you put your hand here you'll see it's quite a bit warmer so it actually does a really good job at dissipating the heat they really worked on this side switch not only does it breathe but people have always said that they have a hard time finding the side switch in the dark because it all feels kind of the same not with this one there's actually you run your finger along here there's a little ramp so you can ramp up and boom lands right in the divot and then you have the rubberized switch with a nice little nipple on on the top and you just go through all the different modes that way uh, moving down we have the spot for the lanyard and you don't want a lanyard just push it down if you do want a lanyard go ahead and pull it up and put the lanyard through there and then push it down uh, down here on the bottom we have the charging port for the USB-C and you just twist to open charge it while you're charging it will turn red and once fully charged it will turn green pull it out and just twist it it's a pretty sweet little uh, feature that they got there so we'll go through the different modes and the operation to turn it on you just do a single press of the light and that will turn it on this does have memory so whatever mode I'm in I can go through the three standard modes which is low medium and high and I'm just doing you do a long press or you can do continuous hold to go through them but say I'm in medium I turn it off I turn it back on and it will still be in medium at any time when the light uh, is on or off I can double press that will go directly to turbo if I want to get to turbo s I double press again and there's the turbo s so total modes there's moonlight do a long hold you'll see that moonlight pop on there so there's moonlight low medium high oops double click for turbo and double click again for turbo s so super bright at any time I can also triple press and I'll get the strobe and there is a lockout feature too so if you want to lock out the light you just long hold you'll see the moonlight pop on then turn off and once it turns back off it is locked out and you see can't turn it on do another long hold you'll see it blink and go into moonlight so moonlight low medium high Turbo, Turbo S, and turn off. So the light itself weighs 660 grams, where a can of beer weighs 365 grams. So it's almost two beers is equivalent to this flashlight, and the flashlight is the size of a beer. So that just kind of shows you that this thing is just a tank and a powerhouse. So overall, I think it's an excellent light. I like all the upgrades from, especially the beep breathing side switch. I think that thing's the absolute coolest. The twisting tail cap where you have it charging three times faster is definitely awesome. This thing does almost cost $300. It's around 270, which is crazy expensive, but at the same time it has all the newer stuff and it's super, super bright. So either way, it's a nice light. I put a link to this guy in the description and that's that. Thanks for watching.